brought the I brought the Max today with the big coil to see if I could get some extra depth and find stuff that the Nox had missed. And uh, I just got here like 10 minutes ago. So far I dug a shotgun shell. It was like eight inches deep. And then right here I was just getting a 90. I thought, okay, it's gonna be a can. Check it out, it's a shaker top of some kind. You know, I'm certain that's gonna be silver. It was coming up 90, so. That's definitely silver. That is awesome. It wasn't really that deep though, so I don't think the Nox like missed it. I just didn't swing over it. And I didn't do this outer field that well, so it was only like five, six inches deep. Nox definitely would have picked that up. But that is definitely silver. And that's awesome. There's still stuff here. Okay, here we go with the wind again, but right here, I'm right by where I just found that shaker top, and I just got another... Steady in the 80s. I'll let you know what that is. Just a rolled up bent up piece of copper okay I got another one here eighty hit like six inches deep I'll let you know just a big piece of copper. I want to show you this one. A deep one hitting 80, between 80 and 82. That sounds great. I'll let you know what it is. Well, it's a coin, but it's not silver. I thought for sure that was going to be silver. Just a wheat scent. I know it's going to be wheat. How corroded it is. I can see Lincoln barely. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a wheat, I'm sure. Oh well. Next, I got another little interesting thing here. It was coming up 77. It was down there. That was seven inches deep. There's words on it, and I can't even see what they say. It's really thin and delicate, so I'm afraid to even try getting that dirt off of there. Looks like some kind of pin or something like that. Hopefully I'll be able to see what it says when I get it home and clean it. All right, I just want to show you this one for integrity's sake. Um, I almost missed it. I'm getting like a 76 to, it's all over the place, 80s. It's like eight plus inches deep. It's like a high sounding squeak. Even up to 96. I have no idea. It could even be a false, but. Ten plus inches. Alright, well, <laughs> I'm gonna dig and see if I can find it. And I'll if I do, I'll let you know what it is. I did find it. It's just a deep nail. And I don't know if I mentioned the tone, it was like just barely coming through. It was just like a deep faint high tone okay this better be something I've been digging a lot of crappy signals here deep 80 between 83 85 six plus inches 
real sweet high tone. Oh, let that at least be a coin. Well, it's not a coin. I don't even know what that is. Looks like melted metal of some kind. Aluminum, I guess. Thought I'd show you this one because it has me stumped. I have no idea what this will be. It's like a high 80s. Even hitting 90. But it's not like a real nice sound. Maybe you can hear it. I don't know. It's a weird tone. Iron, maybe. I'll let you know. Yeah, it was deep. It was eight, nine inches deep. But it's just, I think, a piece of melted aluminum. Well, it's been a little while. I haven't found anything too good. But I just got a deep buckle here. It's coming up as a... 85 to 90. I figured it was going to be modern junk because I'm right by a pavilion. But hey, that's pretty cool. That's a dirty freaking trick. I thought I had a largey here. It was coming up like 85. Oh. It does look like there's something around the edge of it, but I don't think that's like a coin with a nail through it. Or is it? It's got the right thin... Well, it's a little thin for a largey. But I don't think it is. I don't know. If it's anything, I'll show you, of course. I just found a little trash pit. I just found, pulled out this mustard jar first. That's not very old. That's a little older. Some kind of medicine bottle. It's got a measurement on the side. This just came out. Still got the cork in it. There's a marble in here. Plain white. Ain't no special one. Huh. There's a shit ton of glass in here and bones. I can't, I don't want to dig too big a hole though and make a terrible mess. But I'm going to keep poking around in there carefully. I just found a nice, another nice marble. And I also found this little, I don't know, it's a metal disc. It ain't no coin or nothing. It's like off a lid or something. And this little stopper, little glass bottle stopper. There's a leather boot in there. This must be like a privy or something. Or a garbage dump. Huh. There's a huge piece of metal iron in there that I can't even budge. That's what made me dig this hole. It was like a nice 85 signal, but it's just a giant piece of iron. Oh, I've been digging Indian signals all day, and they always turn out to be junk. But I finally just got one. It's getting dark. I gotta leave soon. Feels like I just got here. I'm not gonna try to get a date, but you can see that's a IHC Indian head scent, <laughs> or IHP, whichever you prefer. But all right, that's my best coin of the day. I I've been digging modern pennies and clad dimes and stuff. I think I got one wheat. I might have showed you that. I don't know. Anyway, next.
I just dug a 67. It turned out to be a ring, but it's not precious, unfortunately. That's still pretty cool, though. It's an old ring. Huh. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I dug a ton of trash today. I already threw away most of it in the dumpster. But I found some good things. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. Happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.